Dozens of volunteers gave up their Saturday to rescue cold stun turtles. The gentleman of Seto allowed me to come along just to see what goes into the rescue efforts. Yeah, turtles don't, they can't ask for help, so you know, we just take it upon ourselves to go out in the worst conditions and uh, do what we can to help. It is so heartwarming to see the outpouring of different aid, federal, state, local agencies, uh, and our, our volunteers with our Padre Al National Seashore Turtle Program and members of the public. When the cold stuns first start, most of the turtles are still kind of bobbing in the water. We go and plug most of we can out of the water. They get to the point where they're so lethargic that they can't swim and they start washing up on the banks of Spoil Islands. And at that point, we transition our effort and uh, start you know, walking around and trudging through mud and sand and pulling them on the boats. All right, go um, make some room. Good luck. We have three local rehabilitation facilities that will parse these turtles out to, depending upon who's got space at their facility at any given time of the intake process. As always, if you do find a cold stun turtle, you're encouraged to call 866-TURTLE-5 and report it. Reporting in Flower Bluff, Aron Hammy, Chris 6 News.